for two years, or as we call it on this show, just a brief hiatus. <laughs> I just, I missed you, I missed us, and I found this blazer in my closet that I've had for so long that it's back in style again. So I was like, let's do this thing. <laughs> the truth is, uh, I was at the March on Washington a few months ago, which was awesome, um, and I couldn't believe the amount of women who came up to me to tell me that they missed this show. Three. <laughs> uh, three, three women came up to me to tell me that they missed the show. Um, like to point out that's more than two. <laughs> and sure, there were over a million people at the march, so let's just not focus on what a small percentage three out of a million are. <laughs> the point is, they found me like a needle in a gay stack. <laughs> we're back, baby! We're back! <laughs> sure, that got a mix of laughs and groans, but <laughs> if you've been watching the show for nine years, you know that's what I like. <laughs> At the march, there were millions of women. I couldn't believe it. There were so many women who really care about making our country better. And there were men, but who cares about that? <laughs> I do. Men are people, too. I just don't want them near my... <laughs> no. <laughs> By the way, the Women's March was amazing. It was the largest protest in American history. How cool is that? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and it would be old news if the person we were marching against wasn't still president slash a living nightmare beast. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Do we want to just take a moment to be sad? <laughs> we can. I mean, if you're single, the march is a great place to meet people because you are really like jam-packed together really close, like shoulder to shoulder with different women. You have no choice but to like be friendly and talk to them. And also like there are so many like boobs pressed against up your back. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like you're, it's so intense, you know, but lovely. <laughs> but seriously, the march, it was like, it was like Dinah Shore for people who give a shit. <laughs> it was like, it was like Grindr, you know, like if all the people on Grindr um, uh, gave a shit. <laughs> anyway, my point is, today's show is brought to you by my new app, Protester. <laughs> It's a dating site where you can meet sexy intersectional singles in your area and, 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 and go to protests together. <laughs> yeah, right? That's kind of cool. It's kind of a good idea. You're welcome, anyone out there who actually knows how to make apps. <laughs> but you know, protester. <laughs> Stand up for your rights and then lay down with a progressive non-binary person. <laughs> You can only swipe left. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> because, thanks. Oh, so I just used a word back there that I learned at the march. It's called intersectional. And though that's not what the uh, I and LGBTQIA stands for, that's intersex, you dummy. <laughs> Actually, I learned that at the march, too. <laughs> but I actually want to read the definition of intersectionality so I get it right, OK? Intersectionality is a term coined by Professor Kimberly Crenshaw. It's the view that women experience oppression in varying configurations and in varying degrees of intensity. So to be an intersectional feminist, which you are, trust me, <laughs> means that you recognize that the rights of trans people, the disabled, people of color, Muslims, immigrants, are intrinsically connected to our rights as women. Basically, it means that women are connected to any group who is struggling for equality. And it means that we have to stand up for each other, especially since President Trashface took office. Am I right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> We've got a jam-packed show for you today. From the Emmy-nominated series, Her Story, the beautiful and talented actress and activist Jen Richards is here. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped listening after Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she said she stopped listening after Beautiful. Just wait till she gets here. She has no idea <laughs> what's going to happen to her. <laughs> also on the show, buckle up, baby dykes. <laughs> One of YouTube's biggest stars. You asked for her, you begged, and it only took me two years to book her. <laughs> Hannah Hart is here. <laughs> First, let's check in with my best les, my side geek, the coolest girl I know, Rami Rosendorf! Woo! Woo! Oh, watch, sorry. Ooh. Okay, watch out. All right, that's fine. I'm out. I'm Listen, out. we do what we can. We I do what out. we can. I'm out. I made it. You got it. Hi! Oh. Do you know what I just realized? No. It's 2017. I, I've been 
out for 20 years. Wow! Yeah. Wow, so that means you came out the same year Ellen did. Yes. Damn. I remember watching that episode in my dorm room being like, what K2? What K2? <laughs> <laughs> Just like quietly to yourself. Quietly. What K2? What K2? <laughs> Yeah. Um, that's amazing. Yeah. Congrats, it was 20 years. 20 years is a long time. That's like, you should get I should like go a... to college. Like, I can, I'm a college-aged lesbian, but not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about Oh, you mean your gayness, gayness. is college. It's all that should be in college. Right. Yeah. That's cool. So what are we talking about today? What's happening? Well, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the band Muna. Okay. I ordered the album because uh, I didn't have time to go buy it this weekend. Because you have a fancy <coughs> job. I have a, a, I, I have a job. It's fancy. It requires me to be at a desk. Uh, and I ordered it on Amazon. Came to my door last night. I was very excited. I was going to listen to it and prep for today. And I open. Wait a minute. I open it up. Okay. I open up the box. And this is what was inside. <laughs> Not Muna. No, it is the, <laughs> the essential Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> This is yours. This is yours. You can take this home. Unopened. Uh, that um, is not even, that doesn't even start with an M. I don't even know how they made that. I mean, although he kind of looks like a lesbian here. Of, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, why, so you ordered Muna and they sent you Stevie Ray Vaughan. They did. I don't know what's going on over there, Amazon. I feel like, I feel like whoever like the packer is at Amazon is like, not enough people appreciate Stevie. <laughs> All of these people ordering Muna. <laughs> well, I wanted to talk to you guys about Muna because uh, they're a, a three-piece band. They just released their, their first album, About You. Uh, I think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. they're like a mix of like Wilson Phillips meets Robin meets Tegan and Sarah. I know all, all of those of bands. <laughs> this never happens. That's a great combination. They're they're a trio, but two of them are not sisters because. But they are queer identified. They met at USC. Wait a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> They're a trio. Yeah. But two of them are not sisters. Well, because of Which, the Wilson Phillips thing, but, because they were so. Were three of them? Those three sisters. Three sisters. Are any of them sisters? <laughs> two sisters. I was right. What? Are the Moonas related? <laughs> no. The thing I love about them is that they are not afraid to be political in their music. They like actually that. swapped out one of their lyrics when they were on Jimmy Kimmel. It was the night after the election they played on Jimmy Kimmel. They swapped out a lyric and called out President Trump. Um, and so they also, at every one of their shows, they um, they asked the venue to make the bathrooms uh, gender nonconforming. So That's awesome. You, I like that. Uh, yeah. it's. I think it's... they. I, their philosophy is that it should be a safe space for everybody to come to their show. Hey, that's awesome, yeah. and yeah. Um, uh, you can you can get them here, Muna. I'm, this is because we'll put a CGI like a graphic. Are you gonna CGI? Are you gonna we'll put a little a Chiron? Chiron, Chiron, Chiron yeah. little Chiron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at the use of the word Chiron? <laughs> <laughs> is that a very old term? What's Chiron? Apparently, <laughs> 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 it is an old term. Yes, it is. Wow. Well, we know it's an old. We know it's an old term because the millennial just went, what's a chiron? <laughs> I think it's called a lower it's third. Wrong. It's a lower third. <laughs> um, why don't you come back and be on another show or 40? I would love to. <laughs> she's been on every show. Yeah, she's been on every show. Hey, you know what? Hey, what? Let's be friends forever. I like that. Okay. Love you, buddy. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Go. Um, you guys, I'm so excited for our first guest. Please welcome the beautiful, the talented, actress, writer, activist, all around badass, Jen Richards! Woo! 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Hi! Smooth sailing. Um, first of all, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Uh, congrats on your Emmy nomination for her story. I literally. <laughs> Coming from someone who I'm like, not only do I see two Emmys, like I tripped on another three in the hallway. <laughs> There's one holding toilet paper in the bathroom. <laughs> Gotta put them somewhere. <laughs> How many Emmys do you have? I have four of them. Okay. Yeah, I have four. Um, but uh, they're daytime. Oh. So. Yeah, see my nomination was prime time. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, saying. I won, but... The, um, <laughs> I think her story is so good, so well-written, so well-performed, um, and it's 
Uh, I mean, among other things, it's about a trans woman who falls for a lesbian. That is one of the main storylines. Is that uh, based on a true story? It was. <gasps> you guys. I mean, I'm pretty transparent about it. That's my move. <laughs> Wait, which move is your move? You write a web series. <laughs> yeah, see, I... I it literally, no, my co-writer and co-star, Laura Zach, I had met her on set of a different web series that she had written. Okay. I had a crush on her, so I was like, you want to write a web series together in which we star and maybe we kiss at the very end? <laughs> <laughs> that is a really good move. I yeah. very similarly uh, started my own talk show where I would hit on uh, different lesbians oh. and women who come on the show, and then I married one of them. What? Yeah, I really did. Rachel, I met Rachel through this show. She was a guest on my show. I actually liked her so much at that time that I couldn't even hit on her. This looks like, this looks like it's news to her, though. <laughs> no, she knows. Do you have a different origin story? <laughs> she's like, we met in church. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Is there going to be a season two? And if there is, um, do you need anyone for comic relief? Just to play like a, like a silly lesbian. Because if you really want to be inclusive, there's a lot of dramatic lesbians on the show. But if you want to be inclusive, you should have a real goofy one. Absolutely. That's the whole reason I want to work in television is so I can hire all my friends. Okay. That's the point. Does that mean I'm your friend? Oh, yeah, of course. I've been sitting in your living room next to you. That counts. It does. It does. You're like. Mm. No, but really. Um, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, the boys have been doing this for for forever. Like, you know, some guy gets a little bit of success. He hires all of his friends, and they could also get famous that and is successful. True. That is true. You know, true. the Judd Apatow crowd. You know, the Christopher Guest crowd. Yes. Morton's, like, that's all Hollywood has been. It's just like a different group of like straight white dudes hiring their friends. Yes. And like that's considered a revolution in Hollywood. Yeah. So my thing now is like it's our term. It's our time to do it. <laughs> Our turn. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab onto those coattails. <laughs> and be like, remember when you said it was our turn? <laughs> there is a lesbian character on her story who is very transphobic. Yes. Uh, I hated her on the show. I think she's a good actress. Yes. I just she's such a good actress that I wanted to strangle that character. She gets that a lot. Is that is that something that you encountered in the lesbian community in real life? It is. Everything that happens in her story is like based on something that either happened to me or something that's common in the trans community. You know, ah, like, oh that's my so God, disappointing. Really Lesbians. Yeah. Come on. It's a little disappointing because, because like, I feel like, you know, as a woman, I have so much in common with other women. Like my, you know. Right, of course. <laughs> no, but I mean, <laughs> it did sound kind of funny, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, my backstory is different. You know, yeah, sure. I was, you know, raised as a boy, and that is a different experience of being raised as a girl. You know, I'm not in danger of getting pregnant. I have other other risks and issues, but so there is some difference. Well, when we have sex with each other, we're not in danger of getting pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> <laughs> one of the coolest things about you is that at one point in your life, or another, you have been every letter in LGBTQ. That is true. Yes, that is How true. How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as a, um, I mean, because I've, I've been bisexual my whole life, like openly, and because I was a boy, um, so I dated gay men and straight women. Okay. And then as a woman, you know, I've continued, but now I date straight men and right. lesbian women. Um, but I'm also bi that whole way. So I've been seen as gay, lesbian, bi, trans, queer. I mean, that is really, that. really cool. It could you, be a good perspective. You could just be the only person on the poster. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> I am diversity. Um, <laughs> I first became familiar with you on uh, season one of I Am Kate, which is a reality show about Caitlyn Jenner or as I like to call her, uh, the least sympathetic Kardashian. Uh, I mean... It's sad because it's true. Uh, now, what was it like being in that circus of reality TV with her? Well, needless to say, I was the only one who didn't come back for season two. Oh, I know. Which, which I think says a lot. It does say a lot. You know, they had to coax me into it. I didn't want to. Really? Yeah, I just reality television, the whole spectacle around Caitlyn, I just wasn't interested. Uh, but they kind of sold me on the impact that the show could have. Which I think I, it did. No, it absolutely I it did. did. Yeah. I know that it did. And I ended up having a lot of fun. I mean, I love all those girls. Yeah, they're, those they're are super cool fun. girls. You know, like Candace Kane seems oh, awesome. I was so thrilled to meet Candace, And she's like she's, the nicest person I've ever met. I would love to get her on the show. And just, you know, <laughs> I'm sure she'd like that too. Take her out. <laughs> uh, but, but I think, I think you know, Caitlin is really lucky because she has these Im incredible friends around her like you and Candace Kane and Jenny Bolin. Um, is there any room in that clique for a lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got kicked off the bus. You're asking the wrong girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm just saying I want to be a part of the sisterhood of the traveling trans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's a different sisterhood. That's a different. Okay, I'll, I'll let you in on that. Okay, one. cool. Yeah. All right, a I'm cooler just saying. one. Yeah, I mean, if you just if you wanted like a little like pocket dike. I take Hannah. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's so adorable. I just found out about her today. She's amazing. And I'm a hideous monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know how to conjure trans women. You said intersectionality three times, and I appeared. <laughs> so. yeah. That's all it takes. <laughs> And, and, and like, what, I mean, so is Caitlin, like, is she, like, nice? I think of Caitlin like I thought of my sweet southern racist grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we all, you know, but we really all have those. Like, I loved my grandmother, but she was a product of her time, and she had, you know, certain views that I would personally consider abhorrent. The kind of policies that Caitlin is endorsing will actually hurt people who are more vulnerable than her. Mm -hmm. So we have to acknowledge that. Yes. But we also don't want to dehumanize people. I no. still want to acknowledge and like meet them on a, on a personal human level. Yeah. And it's also at that level that we get the most work done. I think it helps that my background was in activism before coming into you know social media or you know kind of any kind of media work because you have to work across difference. Change uh, is very slow and it requires an incredible amount of compromise. And social media has allowed us to kind of get into these ideological positions where we have this sense of, of a kind of purity of beliefs that we can talk about online but don't actually translate to mm -hmm. everyday experiences. That is the most intelligent thing anybody ever said on this show. <laughs> you guys, let's hear it for Jen Richards! <laughs> and now you've waited long enough, please welcome YouTube's cutest, drunkest lesbian, Hannah Hart! <laughs> 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 Yay. Oh. oh, yay, thanks for having me. Oh, it's <laughs> okay, it happens. Yeah, hi. hi. Well, bye. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Thanks for having me. This is crazy. This is crazy. I want you to know, really, more people have requested you than any other guest. That is so, that's so nuts to me because I have been a huge fan of After Ellen and This Just Out for a long time. Aww. I used to look at it on After Ellen like when I was like a baby, baby gay, like not even like out and about in life. Oh, maybe this is not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I mean, you know, we've been doing this show for about nine years, so you were probably like, uh, no, was like five. 20. 20. Six. 20. 20. 20. 20. You're, yeah. you're 30. Yeah. You're 30. I love yeah. being 30. Yeah. That's yeah. like elderly for a YouTube star. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And you know, I have to say, I don't think I'm the drunkest lesbian on YouTube anymore. Oh, really? As far as I can tell, all people do online now is drink. But I feel like you started it. I want to be known for, Fair but enough. it is a result of what I do. I mean, you're sure. <laughs> you do host a show called My Drunk Kitchen. That's true, yeah. Um, and you have millions of subscribers and millions of people watch your show. And I just wanted to thank you for being here because you are really slumming it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is great. I mean, you have like clean cups. Look at these fancy straws. <laughs> you have an incredibly low bar. <laughs> Now, to, to be totally honest, what I really admire about you is that your whole career started uh, with a YouTube video that you uploaded for a friend who was depressed. Yeah. You made, you made a video just to cheer somebody up, and then you became incredibly successful, and your success is born out of kindness. Oh, that is sweet. So, that so, just, so tell me. Um, is any of that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it? I mean, like, so, so yeah, it, tell us about that a little bit. Well, yeah, uh, you know, it's interesting because... I had a very different life before My Drunk Kitchen started. Um, you know, I uploaded my first video in March of 2011, and at that time, I had just no concept of what kind of subculture there was online in terms of media, entertainment, etc. Um, I sent it to my friend Hannah Gelb uh, because we were G-chatting, and I had just moved from San Francisco to New York, and she was like, "Man, I miss when you would like get drunk and cook, man." You know, that's how she sounds. Check out. <laughs> that's it. That's literally how she sounds. And so that's something that you did in real life was you would get drunk and cook. Well, we were roommates. So, you're yeah. Like, you're like, well, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> you know, like how if you have a roommate, yeah. you have to get drunk and you're cook. You're drinking wine and eating. Of course. Yeah, I mean, that's truly what happened. 
Um, and you know, I had just my sister had just given me this uh, a, a new laptop. At the time, I was carrying around like one of those like twenty pound Toshiba's where it's like you wiggle oh, the sure. cord. The battery has not worked for years, and you wiggle the cord, make sure you get power, and you're in the middle of like a novel length fanfic, and it just shuts off. That was my life at that time. I knew a few of those words. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize the brand Toshiba. So I feel good about that. But I, so I just gotten this new laptop from my sister and it had a camera and we were talking on Gchat and I opened up Photo Booth and I shot My Drunk Kitchen, cut it up in iMovie and I sent it to her via YouTube. Because, because that's, I, that's how you send things. Right, you yeah. sent a video via YouTube. Um, and then a bunch of people watched it and it just... Okay, she's being very... Like humble. I'm trying here. to tell it from a bunch, bunch of people. Does anyone want to know my perspective? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's um, what happened. No, but, but but you know, brag a little bit. How many people watch that? I don't know. I just know more than my friend. You know, it's like it, you know, by today's standards, people like to throw the word viral onto something. It's like million billion views or whatever. But my drunk kitchen didn't have a million views until the end of its first year. So. That's like really good. I mean, yeah. But just to give you, just to give you some some perspective, the most any one of my videos uh, for this just out has has gotten is two hundred and fifty thousand over eight years. <laughs> oh, what's that guy? Uh, just so, give me. So you tell me. <laughs> Like literally, you like take a piss and a million people will. No. <laughs> no. Although if no, I did, if you did, somebody write that <laughs> down. Where's my phone? But no, but truly, like you'll upload a video and just millions of people will watch it. So no. what? Just help me out here. What am I doing wrong? No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Look, uh, it's not a views based. You can't upload videos for the sake of views because if you want to get views, you're gonna have to do things that really trigger the system, right? And so like nipple rings. Nipple rings. <laughs> No, no joke. Like, you could do, like, lesbian tries nipple rings first time, and you're like, ooh, and then there's, like, a like blurred out nipple, and that will get you a million views. Rami, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I've been incredibly fortunate online, and I think it's because, like, in that same way that I made that first video for a friend of mine, all my videos are for my friends and my community. It's just, it's not focused on garnering the most views, although right now I'm having a lot of fun with, like, playing with those kind of ideas. Like, the other day I bleached my eyebrows. They're back to normal. They are. Yeah. And what happened when you bleach your lesbian bleaches her eyebrows? Just, yeah, well, I know. I try and title things like that. Because you go <laughs> online and you see like lesbian blank blank. And I'm just like, what? And I'm like, man, I should, I could literally call everything I do lesbian blank blank. blank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, watch out for our new, uh, our new our show, show lesbian, lesbian blank blank. blank. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't, if I was you, I wouldn't put me on any of your shows. Why not? Because I would just drive the age range up so far. That's not bad. It's not? No. Really? Yeah. Older people have money. <laughs> <laughs> older people, that's true, older people have money. No, older people have and, money. and now you've, you've, um, hold on. And you're not I'm, an I'm, older person. Oh, you're sweet. Yeah, it's true. I'm old enough to be your mother. That's in not, some, no in, in way. Some, in some unfortunate countries. <laughs> Lesbian Blank Blank took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty quickly, you're hosting your own show. It's getting really popular. And then you decided to come out. Yeah, you know, it's funny because um, with the first My Drunk Kitchen, I decided to make a second one like three weeks later. And the next one was three weeks after that. And then for my fourth video, I, did, uh, I didn't want to be known as like some drunk girl online, which, you know. <laughs> Uh, I really got to dodge that one. <laughs> uh, but I did an advice video uh, while drinking. Huh, maybe that's where it went wrong. <laughs> there's but definitely a theme. There's definitely a theme. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. no, like... Also, that's not water. <laughs> so that clear. But fortunately, uh, what I noticed pretty early on is that the people that were following my channel, it was never the most popular channel on the internet, but the people that were following and commenting and becoming a part of this community were awesome. They were people that I would want to be friends with in real life. Hmm. And so just in the same way that at that point in my life, I was coming out to everyone I knew, anyone I wanted to consider friends, I wanted to make sure that no matter how far I went in entertainment, I would never have to have like a big coming out. I wanted to be like, hey, if we're friends, we've known each other for a while, just letting you know, I'm gay. You should know that about me. You should know that about yeah. me. Because Anderson Cooper had just come out that year. And I saw how... You know what? More people watch your videos than watch him on CNN. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But you, have, you have two and a half million subscribers. I do. I mean, it's really incredible. Yeah, I know. But, you know, it's like, with, well, with the way, what happened with him is that, you know, he was like, it's not really part of what I do. I don't see a need that I really right. have to say it. And I totally had respect for that. But I also, 
I, I felt for him in that he felt a pressure to have to say this thing that was deeply intimate and deeply personal to him. Um, so I just wanted to get it out there. Like, right. hey, heads up, I'm gay. But then it turned into like a nine minute video and I had no idea that I still had all of this ish um, about coming out. Question, um, how is Mamrie Hart not your sister? I know! I think we should do a genetic test. You should. Because we say things at the same time in unison a lot. Yeah, both... you're very like simpatico and you have the same last name. I know, and yeah, I completely agree. Um, Mamrie and is... am I saying her name right? Mamrie, yeah, Mamrie. you, you okay. nailed it. A lot of people say Mamrie, uh, Mamrie, you know, but it's Mamrie. Right. Like you're Southern. Like you're Southern. Mamrie. 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 Is she Southern? Yes. Got it. She's from North Carolina. Um, but you're not related. No. <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you saying that you have unnatural feelings for her? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we like to say, are we sisters? Are we wives? Who's to say? Oh. No, we, this is a joke. <laughs> We're neither. You're neither? No. Are you single? We can't ask you that. I can't? I mean, uh, I thought your life is an open book. <laughs> it, you know, it is an open book. You are blushing and going like this. <laughs> you're going like that. You're going like that. You know, you I, don't have to answer that <laughs> unless you want to be completely honest with your audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. You know, it's like love is a many splendid thing. So you're seeing a lot of people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what about you? Are you seeing? <laughs> Uh, I am a married woman. Oh, yes, well, yeah, I brings, I'm leaving. It brings my, 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 my <laughs> Wait, wife. Who is this? It's my wife and what I. What is this? Oh, you were you came here to blah, 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 with me? <laughs> <laughs> I meant to. Uh, I, when I guys relax, I <laughs> meant <laughs> did you come here to old timey box with me? <laughs> That's what I meant. Oh man, lesbian blank blank continues to disappoint. I know. I know. We should. What would lesbian blank blank be as a it's show? It's certainly not lesbian spank bank. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I got robbed. By the way, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know what people like. Like maybe they just like to have like you know like little blonde lesbians like talking to camera, and that's in the, that's what their spank bank is. I mean, it could be. By the way, congratulations! I saw you have a deal to develop lesbian romantic comedy. Yeah. That is so cool. Don't you guys? Come on, how cool is that? Thank you. So I feel like it would be great to remake some uh, romantic comedies, but with like a lesbian twist. Oh, okay. You know, like like when Sally met Sally. Ah, I, I see yes. what I did there. Yes, it's good. <laughs> so two women, Fucking. Sally and Sally. You know, Fucking. sorry. Fucking. All right, if you want to take it there, <laughs> you're the movie person. Um, or like uh, sleeping with Sheila in Seattle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thelma does Louise. <laughs> Pretty women, but women is with an Y. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got female. <laughs> My best friend's wedding. Just but, because Julia Roberts was so gay in that movie. I know! <laughs> so I love my best friend's wedding, except made as a right. lady on lady. All right, production. well, we'll talk. Okay. Um, and just, you know, we'll think it outside the box here. Something else about Mary. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's something else about Mary. There's something else about Mary. <laughs> she gay. She gay. Uh, <laughs> never been kissed down there. <laughs> <laughs> if any of these interests you, um, you let me know. All right, sounds we can put it up in the cryo. <laughs> the Chiron. Like that's a word. <laughs> It's a Chiron, and if you went to film school in the 90s, like some of us, you would know what that is. But in the 90s, you were just getting your period for the first time, so no, you weren't. <laughs> no, no, I was. No, I was. you did. I was like 14 in 2000, so then, yeah, I probably had it right that, that year. <laughs> Where were you in the year 2000? Uh, living out here, busting my ass. <laughs> True story? Yeah, true story. Do they, does the show know there's two Emmys over on your mantle? They know. They Miss, <laughs> Miss com complaining about view count over here? Yeah, two casual care. Emmys? <laughs> you know what I don't have? Emmys. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I don't have? Notoriety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just out. Our feelings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
like I've been able to work out a lot of stuff with you. <laughs> People, you know what? This is not the first time I've heard that. Really? Yeah. You did something about you. Yeah, that's what I hear. Something about you. Yeah. How did that feel? Because I've been working out. Really good. It's pretty good, right? It's so Ow! Oh, wow. Look at... You're cut. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so listen, if, if in any of your romantic comedies, you need like like a like a funny best friend um, or like a like an older sage like woman <laughs> to give advice to the younger lesbians mm -hmm. or 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 like a like a fat mom or something, <laughs> like, something, something where I could just sort of step in for yeah. a day or two on set, come in, say my lines. Yeah. You know, be a part of the Production. <laughs> I'm game. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Could I get that in writing? Oh! <laughs> so I have a pen, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so weird? Both my hands broke. Oh! <laughs> Anything else you'd like me to cover in this interview before I say goodbye to you? Ah, uh, geez Louise. You can find me at YouTube, uh, Twitter, Insta, all the social media platforms at H A R T O, Harto. That's me. Find it in the can. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like a crayon color. Yeah. It's like Kylon. It's Kylon. <laughs> Is it? Just a show of hands. Who here knows what that word means? Okay, do you most of the people know what that word means? We're at your house. <laughs> I mean, your studio. <laughs> also, be sure to click like on this video if you guys want to see more of This Just Out, which, by the way, welcome back. You were Thank missed. Thank you. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Hannah Hart. Hannah Hart. Hannah Hart. <laughs> She's so cute. Thank Isn't you. Isn't she cute? She's Hannah Hart. Oh, yeah. Hannah Hart. <laughs> Want to do the outro with me? That's not the outro? <laughs> well, well, that's, that's our, our show, show, Lesbos. I'd, I'd like, like to thank Jen Richards, Richards and Hannah Hart. And, and I, I want you to, to tune in next week when my most popular guest returns. Kate Moe will be here. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if that's still a thing by the time we upload this episode. See you soon. I'm Liz Feldman, and you're, you're so gay! Woo! Where are, where's Toshiba today? Uh, really? I don't know, but I think... This just out. <laughs> Where is Toshiba today? Not sponsoring either one of us. <laughs> That's I can true. tell you that much. I really just love so many sound bites from this. You don't know what people like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a super cut of like interview goes wrong version. Okay. You guys should do that for your bloops and just cut it like it's like the most awkward, uncomfortable should interview. Do that for ever. our bloops. <laughs> <laughs> We got a blue guy, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> She's witty. She gonna take over all of your city. Your city. So get ready. Get ready. You should Lots of gifts from this episode. Hey, yeah. Hey, blue guy, that's like our gift girl is different. <laughs> She's a gift that keeps on giving. Nobody likes that. Wow. <laughs>